What's up YouTube? Redbeard's Garage and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to keep continuing on this uh, redo of the street go-kart. So I got this expanded steel from a metal salvage yard the other day for, I think it was $2 for a pretty good size sheet. So I bought all the sheets they had. They're right there actually. Uh, that was an awesome deal. They accidentally cut it wrong. So it's brand new. So I'm making some sides. We already have one side done. I always like to do one side. So I'm figuring out how I'm going to do it and then I can film it. So uh, you want to go show them the other side, how we did it. Uh, we put some some rod stock on top of it to cover the I should have put it inside the pipe but that would have been even bigger B word we also did some fenders on the back right there uh, I think they look pretty nice so this side's pretty much done we just got to do a little bit of grinding and this side will be ready for paint but uh, so now I just got to tack this in place and then I'm gonna trim it with my angle grinder with it tacked in place and then we can you know go to town tacking it all up so uh, let's get to it. This thing slags like a son of a gun for some reason. I'm gonna talk about why you're not wearing gloves, but you should wear gloves. Oh, because the skin cancer factor? <laughs> yeah, I never wear gloves, but when I'm tacking stuff, because I can feel like gaps better with no gloves on, but I should be wearing gloves. You can get skin cancer from this. Uh, we're just being a little ballsy. So I'm about to put this uh, rod stock around the edge of this so it won't gash you up. I should have cut this, like I was saying over there, and put it on the inside, but I didn't think about it until I already tacked it like 763 times, so we ain't going back. I gotta wear my sleeves, which I never wear. One glove, uh, because the slag is falling right in my cracks of my arm and are eating me up. So I'm gonna start welding this bad boy on. So I got this side almost done. I just need to put the rest of the rod stock, the rest of the link, you know, cut it to size and put it there. And we are, I have to cut the sheet metal to make this fender. Um, and then this will be done. Then I'm gonna take my angle grinder, clean some stuff up like these sharp corners on the bottom. I'm gonna run it along and get all those off, kind of slant them. And then I think it'll finally be ready for paint if I'd stop adding stuff to it. It's just, uh, I look at, I keep looking at stuff like, oh yeah, I'd like to have this on there and it keeps getting to a longer project. Like I extended the front end six inches and I cut the whole front end off and redid it. Uh, like the whole front knuckles and stuff, redid the steering wheel and I wasn't planning on doing any of that when I first started this, but it's a million times better now. And we got a little special treat that I'm not talking about. Um, you'll see when she's done, it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna finish this mesh out and then we can finally wipe it down with some uh, mineral spirits make sure everything's grinded that needs to be grinded and finally paint the thing with bed liner so i'll pull the camera out when we're ready to spray you know what would be really cool on this jeep style doors a lifted <laughs> 16 inch suspension suspension suspicion suspicion, suspicion. <laughs> suspicion. <laughs> 
and some and some three hole gussets. Lots of three hole gussets. Uh, so I'm gonna keep on welding. My arms are murdered from not wearing sleeves earlier. Oh well, it makes you a man. Learn your lesson one day. Probably not. Probably not. So I got this piece of uh, sheet metal cut out and I put a bend, I'm just using the pipe right there actually. So now it'll fit in there. Now we have to mark the mesh to cut it at a slant so this will slide under it. And the fender does hang over on the inside and I was gonna cut it off, but they talked me into leaving it. So we'll see what she looks like. But uh, after this is done, uh, almost all of this mesh is welded other than me putting this uh, the rest of that rod on that we talked about to cover you know where you won't gash open your leg on this stuff but uh, this thing's gonna be a hundred times better than this go-kart I like this I didn't have sheet metal was the problem thin enough sheet metal I wanted something this size you know something that was really thin I don't know the gauge of this um, to go right here I didn't have any I didn't want to spend the money on it so that's why we went with this expanded metal and I got it super cheap so and it adds character yeah I think it looks pretty cool a little toughness to it and I'm gonna get some some pretty cool stuff added to this uh, this expanded metal you'll see when she's done there's a few things not many things it's secret on this not really secret it's just surprises so act like this is your birthday but now we gotta like I said trace out this uh, mesh where this is gonna sit cut her out I'm just playing trying to expedite the process but really just slowing him down yeah I'm a horrible I Teacher. don't work with people much so I'm used to doing everything myself so I'm not that good at guiding someone on how they can help me Matthew you gotta trace this like you did last time I'm a big dumb dummy Dang. this is how we're marking this mesh you kind of just took the uh, the ruler kind of flush on there Pretty good Marks it all the way down. Then I take an angle grinder and cut her off. So I'm gonna paint this with truck bed. It's a uh, truck bed liner, it's duplicate color. I've already did the floor. You can see on the front right there actually, and it's sonted. So now I gotta do, uh, that was three coats. One coat takes a whole can to cover the whole frame. So I'm expecting it, good gosh, these little white bugs, I'm gonna punch them right square in the nose. Uh, it takes a whole can to do a whole coat. So I got two cans I gotta run to get another one. So I'm gonna do a coat, run and get another one and come back and finish it. Pretty easy, uh, bed liner coverage real easy. That's the main reason I'm using it. Probably gonna start right here. And I don't do my first coat that heavy. It looks just like a shadow on it, like you can't really tell. Yeah, right now it does, first coat. There a technique to how you're spraying? Yeah, spray it on. Don't spray it off. Bed liner, it covers so well. It's not the same process. I mean, it is, but it's not as uh, 
pain in the butt to spray like standard paint is. I mean, with spray paint, you don't want to just hold her down. You're going to waste uh, the pressure in the can before you use all the uh, the paint. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah, the thing that sucks about painting something like this, it's got so many little crevices and whatnot. on it. I didn't use any primer because it's bed liner. It covers pretty good. Normal paint, you'd want to use normal like acrylic. You'd want to use some primer, but not with this. You don't have to. If anybody knows what these white bugs are? I've never looked it up. See what they I are. Know, they're like aphids or something like that. Does that sound right? And the white on them is wax that grows out of their body. They drink the sap out of the trees. Okay, never mind everybody else. <laughs> I read about them this morning. <laughs> Forgot my wife, a science teacher. Good job, Bill Nye, science guy.
Cartridge Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Help support our channel with some merch by going to rbgcarts.com. We have shirts, stickers, and hats, and we're adding new designs all the time. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.